Welcome to another video. In this video, we are solving for 1 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of x. The first thing we are going to do is divide the whole equation by 1 to the power of x. And when we do that, we will be able to cancel out our 1 to the power of x, and our 2 to the power of x and 4 to the power of x will just stay the same. So now let's reduce 4 so that it has a base of 2. So we can rewrite 4 as 2 squared. So if we did that, our left side would stay the same. Then we now have a 2x. Next, we're going to apply some exponent properties. So if we had a to the power of b times c, that is also equal to a to the power of b to the power of c. So that means we can pull out either our 2 or our x. In this case, we're going to pull out the 2 value. So we'll have 1 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x squared. Now that we have that, we can substitute our 2 to the power of x for, we'll say, the letter u. So we'll say 2 to the power of x is equal to u. So that means we'll have 1 plus u is equal to u squared. We'll subtract our u and subtract our 1. And we'll have u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we can use the quadratic formula to solve for 0 in this case. If you're uncomfortable or unsure what that means, I have a video explaining it in depth, but if we were to plug all those values in, it would look like this, and then that would reduce down. We'd have what will turn out to be positive 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 times 1. And since it's plus or minus, we will be getting two different answers. So we'll have a 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and a 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So let's get a clean slide and finish solving this. Now that we have solved for u, we also can now resubstitute our original u value in. And our original u value was 2 to the power of x. So let's write both of these out. Now something we need to recognize right off the bat to save ourselves some time is that our 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 is going to give us a negative value. 1 minus square root of 5 was going to be negative. And we should know that any value for x in an exponent will not make 2 a negative value. So therefore, this has no real solution. So it leaves us with one option. We have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. In order to solve for this, we're going to use the natural log function. So we'll apply natural log to both sides. And now we can apply some logarithm exponential properties. If we had log x to the power of b, we can move that exponent to the front of the equation. So we'll have b times log x. So in this case, we'll be able to move our x value to the front. So we'll have x natural log of 2, and everything on the right side stays the same. Now lastly, all we need to do is divide by natural log of 2 so that we can get x by itself. So our final answer will be x will be equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 all over natural log of 2. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.